coming out tonight. You know, there's there's something that uh, I don't quite understand. Why is it that we require elementary school children to pledge their allegiance every single day? Like, were we afraid they're going to lose their loyalty overnight? <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Tell me that joke first. Are they going, hey, Ma, when I'm done with my edition homework, can we read that book about Kim Jong un again? <laughs> so in New York, they're considering a bill uh, that will require sex education starting in kindergarten. Okay? So how's that going to work? What did you learn in school today? Um, my ABCs, 2 plus 2 equals 4, and you can still get pregnant even if you pull out. Pull out. <laughs> By the way, I, I, uh, I had some good personal news. Uh, I, I, uh, I took one of those online tests, you know, are you a narcissist? I aced it. <laughs> you know, at my age, you really have to avoid getting second ways, right? So I try to be more spontaneous. And then, you know, when something catches my eye, intrigues me, I just kind of go for it. Which explains why next month I'll be taking a vacation in Botswana. <laughs> so I recently got a new dog, and uh, you know, I love him, but uh, this guy's just not woke. Right. There's so much inappropriate you know, sniffing, the licking, the mounting. And now he's a, you know, he's a little fluffy little Pomeranian. And what I'm really afraid of is one of these days he's going to hump the wrong German Shepherd and get canceled entirely. <laughs> now, uh, we, uh, uh, you know, it's funny, one of the things I've noticed on Facebook and Instagram is people communicating with their deceased pets, right? They're celebrating milestones, whatever, but it's really unique to social media. Like, you never see a guy out in the street who's going, uh, here boy, here boy, butch! And you go, uh, you right? You lost your dog? Oh, no, no, he's not lost, he's dead. I just wanted to wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> So, I think as we know, right, this country, we never adopted the metric system. And, you know, maybe it was kind of hard. I, you know, in fairness, the other countries that weren't able to adopt it are uh, Myanmar and Liberia. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, I think so we do have a, a little bit, we're a little bit ahead on them because we do use it, the metrics for the important things to us. Cocaine and alcohol. <laughs> So, you know, the future's coming at us fast, right? It's, you think about just uh, not too long ago, if you wanted to learn a fact, like, I don't know, what are the uh, side effects of testosterone supplements, or should I get another COVID vaccination? Well, that information wasn't readily available. Today, it's easily accessible because we have, you know, Joe Rogan. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to get your medical information from a guy who spent a semester and a half at UMass Dorchester? <laughs> So, you know, I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about the Ten Commandments, you know, that one will be the actual Ten Commandments, and, uh, you know, I think three of them are rock solid. Don't kill, don't steal, don't commit adultery. The other commandments, you know, quite frankly, they could use a little work if they're really going to be rules that they can actually follow. For instance, you have honor thy mother and thy father. I think we're setting the bar a little high on that one. How about honor thy mother and thy father unless they're acting like jerks again? <laughs> or, uh, you know, I have another tweak on you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Blatantly. <laughs> the, uh, and then uh, also, uh, don't bear false witness against your neighbor. Okay, how about don't bear false witness against your neighbor? Hire a lawyer to do it. <laughs> so, you know, I consider myself a very, very lucky man. I've been married for 35 years. And I can honestly say that my wife really is my best friend. So it's truly friends with benefits. <laughs> and I mean benefits, right? She's got great health insurance, dental, life insurance, and four hundred one k. So please enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much for coming.